Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today's uh, seminar is hosted by the Boston Chinese Culture Association. In short, the BCPA. I'm a Sammy Song, uh, Vice President of the BPA. <laughs> it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to attend today's uh, seminar uh, on AI and photography. Uh, before we start, uh, before we start, and uh, I would like uh, to appreciate Abby for her, uh, her support, and uh, she and uh, made us this heaven, and uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, let's give props to the. Uh, Without her help, uh, that's impossible. Today we have so fantastic the wrong and, uh, and uh, state of art uh, project. Uh, actually, this project did not work, and uh, she and uh, know we want it. She arranged people to fix it. We really appreciate it. Uh, to, uh, to appreciate it, and uh, we have a little bit gift for you. And uh, this president, uh, the president of uh, yeah. Here in the library, right? So take a picture. Oh, okay. Yeah. We said a photography club. We must take a picture. Yeah. Who's the cameraman? The person who's taking the camera. Okay. Oh, sure. I'd love to. Yes, I would love Well, thank you for coming here and collaborating with the, the Western Public Library. So, this is one of the joys of my job is working with the community. Um, so then when we got a request from Sam about using one of our public spaces, we just talked about how to collaborate, to open it up to the Westwood residents and to be able to support the Boston Chinese Photography Association and our Westwood connections here. We know there's a Westwood Chinese School and Westwood residents and we are expanding our service and it's really a gift for us too because this is how we come up with our community when we get these requests. Um, and I hear that Westwood is a great spot, a central <laughs> spot for everybody. So Sweet spot. <laughs> yeah, and we were talking about displays outside in our gallery. And most public libraries have a display space. So I would say if you can go on tour to the various public library um, yeah. spots and put your work on display, it would be advantageous to your association. Uh, but it is one of my joys for the, to, to work with our community groups and, and open up um, these types of events. So thank you. And we'll get thank this catalog and enjoy your day. Thank you. Uh, today we have two outstanding speakers, uh, Dr. Lu, uh, Dr. Zhen. Yeah. Uh, they will give us their insight and uh, expertise on the latest advancement in AR and photography. Uh, today's seminar uh, we will cover a broad range of topics, include a, a demo of some an, an, an AI tool to generate uh, the new original image. Also, and uh, how to use AI to post the voices further. I hope and uh, you will inspire. Uh, this seminar will inspire you and uh, help you deeper understanding of the. Luo AR play in the world of the photographer. Uh, today and uh, we uh, we use the English as a language, but if anyone want to raise question in Chinese, uh, that's that's okay. So uh, we can translate. Yeah. yeah, we we can we have many people can translate. Uh, also, I think, oh, last not a, uh, not the least. We have very fun activity. That's the sweep state by end of the uh, uh, seminar. So just make sure uh, you can see it uh, for a chance to be win. Okay, uh, it's your time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Okay, so thank you. For everyone coming to the face-to-face -face events, it's been a long time since the um, COVID-19 uh, that we have been running events 
offline, not offline, online for three years, and this is really an exciting time that we actually can face to face meet with our members and new friends. Uh, today's uh, seminar is about artificial intelligence and photography. Uh, my name is Daryl, and we have another speaker, Ziming, sitting there. So together we're going to share our our thoughts. Um, we we at least I might not be the one to, who know everything, but I try my best to share. So before we start, um, I think it would be good to share with all of you maybe 30 seconds about our organization. So the full name of the organization is Boston Chinese Photography Association and the website is there on the screen. We have been established for I think uh, 12, 13 years roughly. We have member around 400 to 500 accumulatively, I don't remember because sometimes they they were member and they move away to another out of state, but uh, all together it would be around that number. We organize events all the time, at least one event per month. And a uh, seminar like this, or a photography class, or sometimes we, we organize events to go out take pictures. Um, so all together, probably in average, we would have around 30 plus events per year. So the membership fee is what, 50, 30, 50 dollars. So in average, it's less than two dollars per event. So it's so return the investment is really sound. Anyway, so um, if you are interested in uh, signing up for the organization, we have the president and vice president, two vice president here. So you're welcome to talk to them. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm sure some of you might have seen some image on this on the internet, and they they look astonishing. And I'm not sure if you could tell what images are generated by artificial intelligence and which one not. So I'm going to give you a test. <laughs> the upper left is it photography, photography or image? By AI. First, AI. 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 AI? Yeah. AI. No one thing is photography. What about the middle up? Uh, uh, camera. Like camera. Yeah. Camera. Yeah. Yeah. camera. Camera. Which end? Camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. What about the upper right? Yeah. Camera. Camera. <laughs> camera. <laughs> camera. <laughs> you said I knew it. What about this one? That's camera. Camera. That's camera. 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 Half of it. What about this one? Yeah. 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 No camera. Yeah. camera. What about camera. 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 Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Except the middle. The middle. The middle of AI. It is AI. Yeah. Oh, so you could generate a lot of image, not really like photography, if you know how to do it. Otherwise, it would be easy to identify as AI generate. But it's nothing wrong or right, it's just what it comes from is different, right? But if you look at the <coughs> landscape, right, not the portraits, is it AI generated? Yes. Yeah. This is ice. Is it AI generated? Yes. Photography? Photography? No? No photo? What about this one? Photo or AI? Photo. Photo? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, one third. The last one. No photo? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, what is this? All right. All three of them AI. All of them artificial intelligence. So it is amazing, right? So if you. If you take a picture and Photoshop it, you could definitely Photoshop a photo in that way. And it's hard to tell whether it's AI or real photo, but as I said, it doesn't really matter. So today's um, rough agenda. 
I'm going to share with you some AI image creation tools. And Zimin is going to share with you using artificial intelligence to do post-processing. So more or less, I handle the creation of this picture, he handles the processing of the picture. The last part of the seminar would be as a discussion, because I don't have the answer, uh, the possible AI impact to photography. So it's a three parts of today's seminar. So um, I was told I only have one hour, so to 3.45. I want to count it. You count it. So we're at 3.30, let me know, right? So I asked for extension. All right, so if you Google it, there's a lots of AI image creation tools. And some of them are as simple, some of them are more advanced. Some of them are free, some of them are not free. And I picked some to share with you. The first one, Bing Image Creator, is a very simple tool. It's free. You can sign up with a Microsoft account, and you can just play with it. Meet Journey is a really advanced AI generated, AI generated image tool. Um, and I'm going to share it with you also. The third one, Leonardo AI, is you can consider a, like a competitor with the Meet Journey. It's a very good tool. And it has a, a number of features that you cannot find it in Meet Journey. The one that AI is more like a, a um, cell phone app. Uh, you need to pay for a subscription. Uh, if I have time, I'm going to share with you. But the limit uh, is very limited capability for the for the one the AI. So I don't feel bad if you don't have time to do it. There's all other uh, the bottom. This um, AI image generator as well. Dolly two, you probably heard about it. Uh, Adobe Firefly also uh, is coming. You need to sign up. Uh, sign up meaning you need to not just sign up, you need to wait for it, and then they need, they will invite you. So, I, I signed up for the waiting list. I haven't got any invitation from them yet. Uh, Blue Willow, also another one. If you're interested, you could Google it and, and investigate. So, I'm going to uh, focus on the first three. Before we go in the first one, or we could go to the first one first. So let's take a look at the slide first, and then I go jump to the, the web browser. Bing Image Creator is for Microsoft. So this is the URL you could sign up. Um, you need a Microsoft account, so we need to sign up for a, um, even though I don't know what they are going to do with it. So in the interface, you can see that there's a there's a um, there's a prompt line here, and then this button called create. Pretty much, if you want to play with the tool, this is these are the two things you need to know. So this prompt line is more like if you want to use the tool to create an image, you need to tell the tool, the AI tool, what kind of image you want to create. So it's more like type it say, um, I want to create uh, a beautiful woman in a red dress walking along Iceland Bridge, uh, beach in the sunset. So you just type it in, in this line and then hit the return, uh, hit the create, and it will create an image for you. So we are going to try to um, give a demo. Let's see. Alright, so here it also have some other uh, image that created by someone else. So you could click on it and then you could you could take a look of it. And you could download it too. Because it seems you could download it and buy some feedback and whatever. Um, pretty amazing some of them. I don't think you could tell that this is created by artificial intelligence. So go back to the interface here. Uh, let me close this one. 
So this is what we call the, the problem. Let's go back to the um, slide because I was thinking to show you something. So the prompt is a description of the image, like I said, right? That you want to tell the AI what image you're going to ask it to create. For example, you type a command, say imagine, and then the, whatever the purple, the, the cyan, and the green are the, are the prompt. So you say, I want to have a picture like watercolor. And then it's a pretty Chinese woman, a portrait, which means it would not be a full body shot, right? And then you put some more criteria, like it's professional, professional color grade, no contrast, soft shadow, very sharp. It's not five, it's like three photography. And then um, you hit the return key, and then it should give you the image. So this, um, I want to emphasize, because this is important, this the, how, do you, how do you ask the AI to generate image is um, very crucial. No matter you are in Bing, a Bing creation tool, or in MidJourney, or later on your model AI, they all have a problem that you need to type it. And I would imagine the format, this is an example, but at the bottom is a format. So first, usually, you would say a medium, like watercolor is a medium. Or you could say photography. Or you could say oil painting, right? And then you describe what you want to to, to the image for a, a adjective, like a very beautiful. Um, and <coughs> now a, a, a <coughs> work uh, walking along the, the seashore. Uh, where? In Iceland. When? Sunset. What style? Uh, very sharp, highly detailed. Um, whatever, there's a lot of keyword that you could, you could go to the internet to find it and then you compose a, 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 a long string and then type it at the prompt, it will show you. So let's try to create one. Let's see what happens because um, it is. It's not a. Uh, it's not a, um, how do I say this? It is a real time demo. Because I have no idea what it comes up. <laughs> right? So um, let's, let's try, let's do it together. Right? So, if, in order to, to create what image you want to create, let's start with um, the style, the medium. Should it be oil painting or photography or watercolor? Photography. Photography and um, what we want to draw. And now, second row. BMW. BMW. Okay. A um, <laughs> race car. Okay. And what color? Uh, how do you describe the race car? Red. Red. Okay. A red race car. Where? Italy. Oh, Boston. Italy. Italy. <laughs> Boston. <laughs> you very straight. <laughs> oh. Italy. Um, Tuscany. What else? Uh, what? Sunset? Sunrise? Uh, whatever? Sunset. Sunset. Okay. And sunset. And then we want to have highly, um, highly uh, detail. Um, okay. Someone just made a suggest to include a beautiful, beautiful lady. <laughs> Who says someone? <laughs> Who says someone? <laughs> Tom Cruise in here. Okay, Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay, so enough. We don't want to put so much that sometimes you confuse the AI. Um, 
Okay, then you do Kuei, right? Look at this uh, 100. 100 means that the, I think it's the, um, the tokens you have. If you run out of all the 100 tokens, every time you generate image, it consumes some tokens. If you run out of all the 100 tokens, then you have to wait for um, Microsoft to give you more. Okay? So here, that's why I, I saved my token for the <laughs> events. Uh, great. Uh, no, 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 this is not the one you say. Wait, 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 this is not the one. Wait. Like, give you an example. Try this, right? Wearing a leather jacket, riding a motorcycle on a dirt bike, digital art, something. Alright, so this is the image. So does it match what we tell it to do? It's like photography. It's a red race car in Italy, Tuscany, really, like right in Tuscany. I don't know, it's Tom Cruise, maybe this one of Tom Cruise. <laughs> Highly detailed. So you can see that it's pretty limited, um, this tool, uh, in terms of quality and in terms of, of following your exact uh, uh, prompt. So, but if you just want to have a taste of AI image creation, go to here and it's free. You can just play around with it. And something called surprise me. I don't know whether <laughs> what surprise is going to. Can you double click on the image that I did? Yeah. You can click on it, get a lot of image. And then this is like the beginning. Oh, the Ferrari. And here is Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Okay. All right. So I think it's enough because I I I played with this one for uh, probably 15 minutes or something. I think um, it's for fun, but it's not enough for me. So when you say pretty woman, do you do you say do you define it yourself? No. Now here's the interesting thing, it's a good question. Um, you see that I type a prompt a, 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 a race car and it doesn't I, I didn't tell I didn't specify what race car. I could have say Ferrari, BMW or, or Porsche or something. And if I say a beautiful woman, and it would it would do its best to figure out what you mean. It's, <laughs> it's hard to define beauty, right? Um, it, to me it seems like it's more that you roughly know that what you want to have, but you don't know what you're going to get. So more like if you go to a restaurant, you want to order a, um, a T-bone steak. You roughly know what the T-bone steak would look like and taste like, but you never know what it comes out from the kitchen. Okay? It's the same thing. You could say T-bone, it gives you something, but before they give it to you, you have no idea what the picture will look like. And make it more interesting is that if you go to another restaurant, order a T-bone, you're going to get different T-bone, for sure. The same thing here, the same problem. You say, I want a race car in Italy, a red car in Sunset. You're going to get different image from another tool. Even though they all satisfy the problem, but their understanding of a T-bone is different than the other restaurant's understanding of T-bone. So would the same prompt here in the same app give you different? Yes. Every time you try it, it would be different? Yes, most likely it would, be, it would be different too. So that is another interesting point. Um, if you say, let's say you need some image for your um, website, or you're writing a blog, you need some image. So before these tools become available, you need to buy the image. You can't just go to the internet and download someone else's image because it's copyright. So you have to pay for that. Here, you pay for the subscription and then you generate the image that you own. You don't pay anything afterward, right? So an image that you get here, because next time it will be different, meaning that even someone else uses the same problem, a red race car, Italy, Tuscany, whatever, Tom Cruise, they're not going to get this. Unlikely. Right? So your, your picture is more or less guaranteed to be unique. And that's a, that's a really good thing. Um, sometimes I create an a, a image, say uh, a, a pond with some 
uh, forage in the fall and some bird flying. The whole landscape, I know, is unique in my image that you cannot find it anywhere in the universe. It doesn't exist. It, it doesn't exist until you create an image. So that's the fun part of it. Otherwise, people would say, what's the big deal? I could go to Google, find tons of images. But those are not unique. Those are not free. You know. So the first one, right? Bing. Image. Now, this one is for advanced. Feed journey. So you can see there's some picture that I experiment. The first two I told you are uh, AI generated by Meet Journey. And then a water cutter, someone walked down the street in London. A couple reading books in the library. And there's some picture um, in the fall that I asked to create. I actually sold the picture for $900. <laughs> um, and the, the black and white is more like my first experiment. Um, send some subway image, black and white, and abstract, that kind of thing. So the URL is there meetjourney.com home. What you're seeing is a home page of your account. So when you sign up, you have your own account. Here would be all the pictures that you have created. And um, you could explore to see someone else's picture and manage your subscription and things like this. There is a there's an important thing you need to know though. Meet Journey is different from the other tool that the picture that you generate cannot be deleted. You stay there forever. Right, so, and the picture you created, if you sign up for, I don't know what um, level of subscri subscription would be shared by the public. So everyone will see your picture. Okay, so, of course you could see everyone's picture too. You could, if you want, you could follow, you could learn from someone else and create your own. Um, but you just cannot delete the picture. Now, this is also Meet Journey. And this is the interface that create those pictures. The one before I show you is the place of your own account that you, you can see the picture that you create. But to create a picture, you go to this interface, not your home page. And this page is, uh, they, they have a website, they call it Discord site. Uh, Discord is not really a meet journey site, but it's a, more like a game chat room site. Okay. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Uh, so the when you go to this site, right? You, you see that Discord is it's not really a particular site for Meet Journey, but they use um, this site to 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 build the interface for you to create image. A lot of game player use Discord as well for their purpose. Nothing to do with Meet Journey. And you can see that on the upper left, you see the white um, icon, square icon with a, with a, with a sailor, a sailing boat. That's the Meet Journey. And the one below, there's a, there's a Jesus face, look like. That's the Neonado AI. Both of them run their interface in Discord. So if you want to use Discord, uh, Meet Journey, you need to go to Discord to create an account. Create account, and then you could use this interface to 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 create your own image. So you go to oh, this is Neil Nardo. It's different. Um, all right, so let's let's see some demo. Uh, as I said, this is the website of mine, right? So. You have my, you see my name, the image, and you click, you click on any one of them. Let's click on this one. And this is really like a photographer. 
Um, you could also save the image and copy it to somewhere. Or you could copy the palm. All right, so if you go, let's, let's bring it to there. Why not? You go to the Discord site through this image. All right, so as I said, this one is Mid Journey, and this one is New Nodal AI. So we are here. It looks uh, very uh, confusing for the first time visitor. But all you need to do is pay attention to the chat room here. Forget about what else. You could, you, could, you could visit them later. Each one of them is more like a chat room. And newbies dash and a number are those places that you could go to any one of them and create an image. So I could go to 45 chat room and start typing the prompt here. Or I go to chat room number 15, I do the same thing. Right, 75 also. So you can see that there's a lot of image already there. Right? Those are not my image. It's like because this is a chat room. I just go into the chat room and Tom is there, Mary is there, Peter is there, they're all creating image. But as I said, this is the public sharing. So their image, I can see it. If I create my four image, they can see it too. And you could actually click on their image and then um, look at more detail. Oh, HH is Tom Cruise. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. All right. Now, um, you should be able to see how they created. Oh, here. Tom Cruise whistling a monkey on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they type. Now, here, every time you generate a, uh, some image for the plum, you get four image. Okay? By default, you get four image. So you get one, two, three, four, always in that order, right? One, two, three, four. And then you got eight button here. U, one, two, three, four. And V, one, two, three, four. U, one, apply to one. V, one, apply to one. So it's the same thing. U, three button, apply to the third image and the V3 apply the third image. So U means upscale, meaning you like the um, image number one, you want to upscale it, make it bigger, make it more detailed, right? So you could click the V1 to do it, uh, U1. V1 means that I like the image one, but I want it to um, further generate it, right? Based on the number one, do it again, okay? So you could do these two choice. Uh, same thing, someone create a cat, someone upscale or something, so it's interesting to, to just look at someone else's uh, um, uh, idea. So now, what if we do the same thing, the race car? Again, I, 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 I told you that this is a real-time demo. I no, oh, we lost it. We lost it. Good prompt. I type again. Doesn't matter. So here is the prompt. Now, uh, not like think. We need to start with a slash. Imagine. Like your videos. Imagine all the people. Uh, what we want to have is photography, right? And. Red race car or race racing. Which one? Um, what else? Italy. In Italy. Tom Skinny. Why do I say this? Uh, Tom Cruise in the. And 
we say Heidi, detail, 8K high resolution, um, photo, realistic, whatever, but I don't know what else we want to ask. Okay. And there's also some other option you could specify. For example, um, the the tool use several version of the engine to generate image. So the latest one is version five. So I would specify v5 here, and default maybe v4. I I can check. But if you want to specify particularly which version of the model you want to use, then you specify. For now, let's do it this way. Tuck skinny. Spell wrong. Tuck skinny. Anything wrong here? To be imagine. Okay, this one. Okay. Ready? Go. So wait for a while. Now you can see that my picture is gone. There's someone else's picture is coming up, right? <laughs> so if there's a lot of picture in the chat room. Um, you would need to find them because I don't know where it's in there. Uh, so you have to do it in chat room. Right? This is the one. It's still creating, right? Now, here, if you want to have your private, more private direct messaging with the model, you could right click to the Meet Journey bar and then say message. No, it's not coming yet. Uh, or mention. Mention here. Jump. All right. So here are the four image. The quality is much much better than the pink, right? Now. As I said, we could upscale it. Uh, which one? Which one do you want to upscale? The first one. So, you want. So, wait for a while. Need to find it. Okay, this is the this is the upscale. And if you go to the web, you can see the image like this. Pretty cool. Okay. Pretty cool. If you need an image like that for your website or whatever purpose, you can use it for free. This is your image, right? And I just do it for what? Two minutes? Or less? And this is the proper use, right? Okay. The steering wheel looks funny. Yeah, sometimes the 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 image would, would not be exactly particular if you're asking you to generate human. Sometimes the finger you got six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> or the eyes or the mouth that look weird or the leg three legs or something. So um, you would need to do it again. So this is the like I said Image is the command. Uh, imagine is the command. Then you type whatever you wanted to type, to do. All right. So. Oh yeah. Uh, you you were um, showing a person. You said Tom Cruise, but uh, presumably it gets Tom Cruise's likeness from uh, out in the internet somewhere. So if you said you want one that looks like Daryl Luke. Would they find it in uh, all your, you know, class pictures and things where your name is and picture are out there in the, in the web? Maybe, if I'm that famous. <laughs> well, it has, I mean, it's not fame, right? They're searching by some key keywords in, in the internet. So. Right, so if, if, they have a, if they have my image in their training model, oh. maybe they could associate with it, right? Because they get the image from all over the place and then they use it as training. 
So if they never see me in the in the trainer model, probably they wouldn't know what. Now, can you also conversely say here? I've scanned in this photo. Use this as the likeness. Yep. Yes, you can. So in a, instead of just doing uh, start from scratch, you could give it a image start with, right? Like uh, they call it image to image. So start from this image, create another image that look like this one. So I could show you um, Leonardo to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go to some. Uh, can you show how to do the V button? Yep. Find it, Tom Cruise. V, right? So we say start from here, generate four image. Looks similar to this one. Yeah, these people are busy. <laughs> no. Oh, here. It's still doing fifty five per cent, eighty three. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, here. It's done. Where are you going? <laughs> well, I think it must be here because where is it? It's my image. Uh, okay, um, go back. I should have done it in the Piper room, maybe better. Slightly different, right? The angle is slightly different too. And you can pick one of them, continue to do it. But remember, every time you generate, it costs you money, right? So you need to be buying for that. Um, all right, what else? Uh, I want to show you, I need to watch out for time. Uh, brand to image. Okay, so let me go to my own chat room, probably easier. Yeah. So as I said, if you type a slash, there's a, there's a example of what command you could, you could use. The command I used was imagine, right? You could slash info to show the, the, the your account info. The setting is the um, the setting of the um, image generation. So there's some default setting. Describe is interesting one because describe you type a um, describe. What it does is that it asks for an image. So when you say describe and provide the image, it will give you the pump for you. So you don't need to generate by yourself. You don't need to figure out how to type it. It will give it to you. So let's say if I if I select a um, image, uh, maybe uh, my image, right? This what happen. So it's going to look at my image and give you a give me a palm. Four. So, which means I could use this one, put it in the prompt, and would generate image similar to what I provide. Okay, or they say this one too. I don't know who is Frank Jang. <laughs> it's co-founder of of Xie Jiang Zhen, or whatever, in black and white. So all four of them can be used, right? So I could ask you to generate again, so I could keep generating palm for me. So there's an interesting application that we could use. So what I did was I go to the chat GTP. So this is a past. Uh, I don't know whether we have time. So I say I talk to the chat GTP. I say I want to train you with some regenerate image prompt. I'm going to give you some example. 
right? And then the green one is the chat GDP. You say, okay, I'm ready. Provide me with the, the rock you have in mind. I do my best. Okay, I give the palm, the black and white image of man standing in front of a rock. This, this palm coming from that described. And then I say, you say yes once you have read it. He said, yes, I have read it. So see, and then I give the palm number two. Because I have four, right? So, and then you say, okay, palm number two, yes, I have read it. Continue. I say, okay, give the, uh, copy paste the third one. Say yes when you have read it. So after four, yes, I have read four, right? So I give it some more. How did I get some more? I, I was here, I say regenerate, right? Regenerate, I get another four more. So these are the four different. So I, I went here, I say, wait, I give you a few more, right? I, so the total gave ChatGDP four different problems for the same image. It's more or less like the learning how to describe an image eight times. I could give it like 12 more and 16 more. After that, I say, this is it, no more brown. Did you get all the browns? And uh, GP say, yes, I received all eight of them. It's very smart, right? <laughs> and thank you, he say thank you too. <laughs> and I, give, I will use them to improve my understanding. Now, can you create a new prompt for me? This time is for a woman. All right, because all the eight prompts is for a man. But I wanted to learn. And then now, turn it to a woman. And then give me an image, a woman. It's very nice. I don't have time to do it now, but I, w I wish I had time. But it was, it was very fun. Uh, it's, it's quick, because I, I just copy paste and then let the chat to learn it. Um, the other one I want to share with you is a command called Bland. Bland is a branding two images together, right? So. Um, for fun, I, I choose um, where is it? I choose the AI image. I choose Baptist. And I choose Jennifer. <laughs> and I'm just curious what happened when I brand them together. <laughs> So the command you can use like yourself and, and some whatever cartoon character, whatever you want. Waiting to start, so we still take some time. So Dara, back to the AI um, chat GPT, so the latest from to the chat GPT gave you, did you try to use that to generate an image? Yeah, yeah, I then use it and then copy paste it from back to Meet Journey and and see how, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, 46% still early. That's fine. So. Can you uh, add the prompt, what would their baby look like? <laughs> I'm sure you can. Okay. I'm sure you can. It, 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 it's a bland. If you could get two images, maybe you could say something else. 93%. Uh, done. <laughs> wow, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the sky is the limit. Your imagination, so. All right, so that gives you some uh, really high level mid journey, right? So I, I'm going to jump to um, Leonardo. So hopefully, they give you some taste of mid journey, how to use that tool. Leonardo AI is very similar, but it has some different feature that mid journey is. Uh, they don't have. Number one is the user interface is much user friendly than the, the other one. The other one is pretty confusing. Uh, the, the main two, um, this area is that the, uh, the community feed 
meaning that all the people that, that create image, you could see it. It's again the same thing, right? You can see someone else's picture, uh, some landscape, some models, and some cartoon, whatever. And this is personal feed, the, the image I create. And here, the fine tuned model. So, as I said, the, the, the image generation requires a model uh, that generates the image. So, this website provides several models that each one are good at generating some specific type of image. You can consider a model, it's more like a type of restaurant. You go to model one, Chinese food, you go to another one, like Italian, go to another one for Vietnam or whatever. So some pool is very good at generating uh, artwork, and some pool is very good at generating um, bandage style photography, right? So you could pick and choose. And I can even train my own model. So here I have used my pictures, the, pic the picture I took uh, this year. I am running a 365, pro 365 project. So I took my 30 pictures from, from, um, from the three months and I trained it. So this is my model and I could use this model to generate image that more or less mimic my photography style, right? Now, the, what I want to do is to share with you these two, because they are very interesting. Image generation is very similar to, uh, to the one I show you in Meet Journey. This is the, the palm that we type, like race car and Italy, uh, Italy's um, uh, um, Tuscany, and here generate now, there's an interesting thing called a negative prompt. The difference between these two is that this one is the one that you type saying, I want the picture to include, blah, blah, blah. This, pic, this one say negative prompt means I want to make sure the picture will not include, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So you probably say, no ugly face, no six finger figure, and uh, whatever. So we could try to create something as well. Um, I have saved some note from we could use. This is you could you could find lots of examples of the negative palm to use. So I'm just copy paste here. So all the things here would not be included in my image, like double face, double head whatever, multiple body, uh, that kind of thing. And here we could do something. So let's see, um, I have some palm that I'm thinking to use. Maybe, oh, this is the, just the qualifier. What about this? This is so long. Let's find something easier. All right, so this is a real-time demo. Again, so we are doing a... Photography. A... Beautiful woman in red dress. Where? In a garden? Mars. Huh? On Mars. Mars? <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing you need to uh, be careful is that if you put something not like logical, it would be harder for it to figure out what to do there. Mars. It's not to do Mars. It's to do something more like a garden or some <laughs> island. Garden. On the beach. Huh? On the beach. Beach again? Iceland beach. What about Iceland? Well, pick some dramatic. What will she be doing? Dancing. Huh? Dancing? Dancing. And uh, 
you know, professional color grading, whatever. Okay, let's see what happened. Ready? And I have no idea what the huh? five minutes. Fifteen. Fifteen? Five minutes. One hour, right? We start from forty five. Okay. <laughs> Time fly for you. Alright, so generate uh, I should I should say four images so we can see more. Just do four. Now how come it give you so many? Uh, I say A, right? Then I I say one. Let's be more specific. Photo. Okay. This time we do four. Oh, I thought I said four. Mm -hmm. oh, no, it's not good. Something wrong. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we make it so complicated. Maybe single. Let's not dance. Let's do this one at a time. Sunrise. Much better than this one. <laughs> All right, so now if you go to one of the image, right, and you could upscale it. Uh, this option here, you could create upscale. There's different kind of upscale. So you want to make it bigger, add more detail to it. There's what upscale. It's not. It, it's not just make it bigger. You add more detail to it. So you could do creative or upscale, alternative, or high D, smooth, or high D quest, let's do this one. I don't know whether it's done or not, but it's still working. No message. You see, is a there's a uh, remove background. So it, it could use AI to remove the background, more or less like a Photoshop. You could crop a, a, a subject. So this one would do it much better than Photoshop. All right, so I think it, it did upscale, but I couldn't really see whether it finished or not. Maybe, maybe um, if I go to did it already upscale? Yeah, it looked like, but I couldn't I couldn't tell. Oh, but it has a mark here, so it must have been upscaled. I just couldn't tell. Where's the original image down there? Here? Yeah. Um. Okay, so do you see the difference? Original, yeah. see here? The hair? Yeah, the hair. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you can play around with this. Uh, there's some other control here. The size of the picture, I use 1024 times 768. You could do a square if you want. Um, guidance scale 7. Really means that, um, that uh, how you want the AI tool to follow your prompt to create image. If you, if you set it to too low, it gives you more freedom for the AI that it would generate something far from what you want.
Okay, then, uh, uh, okay. Let me just take that solve. As I mentioned, actually, um, that was, uh, is a topic that's much more interesting than mine. Uh, because uh, my topic is quite old, I think. Um, but uh, still useful. Uh, so, hopefully, you guys can stay here after my uh, presentation. So, um, AI protocol, okay. So, for these two pictures, I think uh, everyone know the uh, the top one is uh, is uh, generated by by AI. I just learned from Daryl so how to generate this kind of pictures and generate. And then um, for this one, did you already see the views about this picture? Yeah. So this one is uh, also generated by AI, and the uh, this picture when the word top uh, photograph context the story. Uh, uh, context. So, but uh, the uh, author just refused uh, to take the 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 the, the, monk, the because uh, it's generated by AI. So, um, so that's a very interesting topic to discuss. In. So, uh, so the so the way allow AI photograph to go to the uh, the top context the photograph uh, uh, computation is kind of things. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I know this is boring, actually. Um, <laughs> but, uh, what, 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 what is that? Uh, but someone may be interested how this comes from. So AI is not as a new thing. AI is a uh, um, long time ago, more than 50 years, I think. They have uh, the, we, we try to, the computer science people try to, or computer science people or some other people in some cases, they try to figure out what, the, what, what we can do for AI. Um, but until most recently, they could get a big uh, breakthrough. So, um, currently, most uh, of the AI uses uh, named uh, uh, new virtuals um, with uh, deep learning. Um, so, actually, if you can see, well, this one is the uh, 1980s new virtuals. Now it's also a different in your networks right now. Um, so, so your networks is, uh, if you know the, the bio, so, so we just simulate how, how bio to do this and use this as a mathematical thing. So, um, and then we face this kind of thing, so like the, the mean meter as input, and the, uh, there is uh, some uh, work thinking mathematics try to figure out uh, like uh, what's the uh, What's the eyes? What's the age? What's the, what's the features? And then finally get an output to know what that means. So that's also important. Important things I have this. Uh, oh no, sorry. The important thing is actually I have some key points to understand. What we need to know is uh, first the AI in the training. So uh, we need to have a very good algorithm and uh, structure. So that's. That's why it's a bit of a uh, breakthrough. This uh, most recently we get a new architecture of the model and the training algorithm. And uh, of course, if you want to have the uh, good result, we need to high quality of data to train. It. So, so that's why Darren has mentioned that you we need to have the very good quality of image of top images to input for the training for the models. So, and also. Uh, it can be the very part of computing. So, so spatial hardware such, such as TV is used. To, so why we don't have this kind of AI before? Because our computer is not that powerful. Now we get uh, this spatial hardware, then we can do that. Uh, even some some places like the Mitra Terror, you need to upload to their website. So their their backend has a much larger computer than, than us. So they can handle this computing intensive work. So, still boring, but uh, I would say um, the first paper of this um, about the art with the people learning is uh, 2015. 
to do this. So basically, they try to do is uh, uh, combine this uh, result with a uh, with star. So basically, as I mentioned, that you have for this uh, real networks try to extract the feature of the pictures to know what that means. And then my thing this is to do things. So the idea is okay, we have an input, we have a mapping. So, so what AI, do, AI can do is uh, AI learn something if this has any Python, right? If any Python, AI can get the feature of the Python and apply this feature to do what you want. So that's a basic idea. Um, so, as I mentioned, the AI is a training. So, basically, it just, um, for the photo post process, for example, so, um, basically, they try to find a mapping between a raw picture to a good one. So, like, uh, Daryl just show us, they try to generate the new things. So, they need to have a good mapping about the words to get a good one, right? So they need a training to know how to how, how to understand what they what, what they want, what the word means. Okay. And then the AI will do some case, okay. We learn this Python and I try to try to know what you want. And this kind of case, as Darren mentioned, that is uh, you don't know what's gonna happen until like the end of the, uh, the the work. Right? So it's still based on the existing Pythons. Of course, uh, as I mentioned, the AI needs the power of computing, so, so that's, that's going to make a computer quite slow sometimes, because it is competent, competent intensive work. You have so many new works to know what to do, uh, to do this work. And uh, um, if it's a model, is too big. So model is too big means uh, uh, like, uh, like this, it's uh, so many nodes, so many, uh, so many nodes there, so you, you, there are so many parameters. So each node has some this this thing the weight. They try to do some uh, very intensive co computation. So if there are so many nodes, well, you think a computer cannot do that? Even you have GPUs, then you need to upload it to the cloud to 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 to, to fix this. So um, currently, I I mean, we still want to do photography uh, not only uh, instead of uh, do some creation, then. You have some powerful tools to use the AI, like the uh, neural filter, which is, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, it's published last year, last year of uh, Photoshop to help you to use the AI of the, use the AI of the, uh, of the power of AI to, to purpose, uh, post process your photos. And this, this AI device is, uh, is, uh, is kind of a new, uh, New features so to help you to uh, devise your your, uh, your photos, and this one is a kind of a plugin for Photoshop you can use. Um, so basically, you don't know why it's a, a newer filter so because it's a, it's based on newer networks. So uh, I can have a quick show some example here. Um, so yeah. Everyone know it's my daughter. Um, I I made this image with uh, 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 very, um, my uh, 85 millimeters lens. The problem was that that lens is uh, sometimes you cannot focus very well. So the original image is something like this. It's still okay, but uh, but you see the eyes. So if 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 not that large, it's still okay. But uh, I try to use a very high, uh, big aperture, so that make the eyes not, not, looks not that good, right? So um, the simple thing to do is if you go to the filter, you can try the uh, the white dot sharp AI. So this is the um, very good one, I try. But uh, again, as I warned you, it will take a very long time to. Uh, to process this, so um, but I think it's still a good tool. So if you go back um, here, 
So uh, if I had, if you have better computer, it's too faster. So you can choose like a um, standard way, or you thinking it's because uh, out of box, or it's uh, maybe it's too too many noise, or too soft. So probably for this picture, it's too too soft, but. Uh, it, it, for the standard, we already figure out what's going on on I. So you can see the difference between these two. That's good, right? So, so as I mentioned, how this come from? So, so. I saw from a longer one. Could not find it in my hand. So AI, AI had to learn something. AI had to learn, learn, AI had to learn thousands of things like this. No, not thousands of, I have tons of pictures like this. He understands that a lot of people say, okay, I get this box too soft, I want to sharp eyes. So, so it's, it's very, very easy to, for, for AI to figure out, okay, what we want to do. So, yeah, and uh, it looks later. Um, so let's do not apply here, just, uh, just, just to save time. So, but anyway, so now it's a, uh, Looks much better. So of course, if you thinking it's uh, it's too much, you, you can you can have a have a traditional Photoshop to some mask and uh, to 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 do some work by yourself. But that's too forward. Um, yeah, that's I think that's that's a very useful one. So uh, a lot of uh, uh, portrait photographers did this. Another example is still my girl. If you see the original eyes, is uh, it's like this. So um, you know, for kids, sometimes you cannot ask the her to focus. So very similar to what if we go to the viewer filter. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the, the filter, you can go to the viewer filter. Viewer filters. So there is uh, uh, so many good filters. So, so the first first one is for uh, skin. Sorry, it's a, it's a Chinese version. The second one is uh, the uh, intelligent portrait. So there's some kind of other things for white skin. So, but uh, not so much powerful as a, as a direct us. But anyway, so for portrait, it's, it's still beautiful. For example, for the uh, intelligent. Okay. The first one is to show okay if you happy or not, right? And I think the most important, useful one is uh, for the eye directions, right? So for this one, I want to her eyes look at me. So so then I just uh, just drop it. Because here is try to go to the cloud to to for for, for computing because. Uh, the model is too large. You, you can you, your, your own computer is uh, not sufficient. Hopefully, hopefully it's uh, faster enough. And uh, here, here in the second one you can okay, you say the eyes, your can change. So, or you you don't want to do too much. You can do some adjustment by yourself. So, so for all these AIs, you you need uh, some parameter to control which one is good. Um, we can try something else like uh, happiness. So uh, focus on <laughs> focus on, on, on her mouth. So yeah, looks happy. But uh, if you do too much, I don't. I, I don't. If you do too much, it's not so good. Not good. I think. So so. This this one is uh, the second one is your age of your face. So if you, for kids it's fine. If you use for some uh, lady they want to be looks younger, then you, you can try this one. And the third one is about uh, the uh, the hairs. No, uh, maybe I did this. So yeah, I don't know. 